I'm going to show how to hack um, in a copyrighted image that you can pull offline. I'm using Photoshop, an older version. I don't subscribe monthly to, to Adobe, so I never have to pay for this software ever again. I only paid for it once long ago. And I'm highly trained with Photoshop, so this is actually quite difficult to do what I'm about to show you, but it can be done. So this is a copyrighted image. It's really, I don't really think they can hold the copyright to it because it's a really old advertisement. But anyway, um, so I need this image. This is from my grandfather's business. He had a bicycle shop. And here's a wide angle. This is the business he had. Uh, this is more recent after it's been refurbished. So in the front of his store, he had uh, this sign right here. And I was only able to find one image of it on the entire internet. And I want to print it out, print this out and put it on the wall inside where I'm recreating my mother's sewing room. This is a sewing machine business. There's my grandfather. That's my great grandfather right there. Uh, Erler. I forgot his first name. My grandfather's name is Rudolf Erler. So they had this sewing machine and bicycle business in former East Germany that got destroyed by the Russians due to the uh, Nazi aggression towards Russia. Russia came in and whooped their ass. And um, so they're their business got taken away. So I want to reprint this and I was only able to find the one let's see here hmm. I was what's going on here this is the finished product I did and this is what I started with so I'm going to show in reverse how I got rid of all of these uh, proprietary copyright images all over the place, many of them. So to get rid of all that and make it look like it hasn't been edited is quite tricky. So I'm not going to resell it. I'm not going to distribute it. I'm not even going to post it on the internet on a website other than just this video, my finished product, which is here. So you can see it's even sharper. So the last thing I did was sharpen the image. See here, here it's a little fuzzy and here it's sharpened. So let me do some step backs and I'll show you how I did this. And on the very left side, you can see what tools I've been using. When you see a one that's depressed, that's the last one I'm, I've used. So by far, most of what I've done is using this clone tool, a clone stamp right there, and a smudge tool. Those two are pretty much it throughout the whole process. So let's do a whole bunch of step backs and see uh, see how I went to this. See it just got blurry. It's going to keep on getting worse. Like I said, this is mostly using a clone tool. Then I'm going to go forward again. So it's many, many, many steps. This took me about 15 minutes, if that. And I'm pretty good at this kind of stuff. So, okay, there's the original. Look at all those watermarks. Okay. And then I'm going to do step forwards again. What is step forward? Um, edit. Step forward is shift control Z. Shift control Z. Okay, let's do some step forwards to the end product. See there. Um, down here I'm using the clone tool. Right there. 
I'm making a lot of steps here to try to blend that in. And then right there, lots of cloning. There. I don't know how many steps that is, I guess 50, something like that. And so that's how all that's done.